Hey guys, welcome to our live stream exercise class today, combining Pilates, we're gonna do some lunges, and at the end, we're going to do a little massage with the ball buddies, with any sort of balls for, that you have maybe tennis balls or lacrosse balls, that's optional. Hello, thank you for joining me. So we're as we've been doing for our sessions, with our quarantine, we start with a little bit of energetic work to boost the immune system. We're going to thump on the thalamus gland, or right above it on your, your breastbone, right on your sternum, just to activate the immune system. It helps a little bit. We're just going to do a few different acupuncture points, just a good practice, generally, but especially in the times we're living in now. Hello! Thumping on a thalamus gland, and if you guys want to say anything or have a question, you can type it in the chat just to the side of the screen. It might be that side. So on the breastbone, and sometimes that makes me want to just take a big breath in. And then we're going to go to the sides, right under the collarbone. It's kidney 27, that acupressure point. A little bit of stimulus there. You can also rub it or tap on it. And then the sides of the ribs, just tapping along there, getting some lymph happening. You can also cross your arms if you prefer. Let's do it one more time. Thalamus gland at breastbone. It feels good. I hope you guys are feeling it. And then right where the pectorialis insertion is, right at the, at the front of the shoulder, that little divot right in there. And if you find some sore spots, you can linger those spots on either side. It helps to relax the arm that you're digging into. Otherwise, that muscle activates. So just let it relax. You're just pressing around the top there. It's a long one. That's the acupressure number. Ah, I feel revived. Excellent. Now we're gonna stand up and do a little bit more to activate. I'm gonna tip the camera. Okay, guys, we're gonna do cross crawl. Just a little activating, get the energy flowing. Opposite hand to the opposite knee. Lift your knees up high. So that we're working. Uh, Pretty vascular system, but you're also the cross crawl really helps coordinate your brain hemispheres. So our body feels well coordinated for our exercise hour here. It does. Lift it up, hopefully, start to pant a little bit. Yay! So fun. Lift that knee up really high. One more seconds. Shoulders down, nice and tall to the top of the head. Excellent. Very good. And now we're going to do a little bit of grand pieds, some squats, if you will. So legs wide, and we're going to do it in the founder version where we push our fingers together so we're strengthening the lower back. So legs are wide. But then squeeze your legs towards each other to engage your inner thighs, right? So you feel those muscles. Tip forward, shifting your weight back on your heels so you feel your hamstrings and glutes. Your back is flat. You can still pull your abs in. Not tucked, but flat. So you're feeling those lower back muscles working. And if that's going well, we're going to push your fingers together. Rip your weight back. Your toe orientation will be slightly out or turned parallel, see what feels better on your knees. But we're shifting the weight back so that you're not putting much too, much too much pressure on your knees, along with activating the hamstrings and glutes. If you can, extend your arms forward. And keep your chin tucked, squeeze your fingertips, and squeeze your legs towards each other. It's quite challenging if you're activating all the muscles. Even though it's a small movement, all your muscles are working. 30 seconds. Push your fingers, and then we're gonna do a hold, of course. Shift the weight back. Long neck. 
The farther you extend your arms forward, the more you'll feel your lower back muscles challenged. Keep the inner thigh squeeze. 15 seconds. Shift back. Abs engaged. Legs in the arms, drop the shoulders down, chin tucked in. Excellent. And then we're going to hold the squat, keep your knees bent, and just the arms working up and down. So as you lift and lower, again, you'll feel those lower, uh, lower back muscles working. Keep the abs drawing in. Chin tucked. Lift and lower. If it hurts to lift your arms, don't lift them up that high. Just keep them lower. But the higher up and forward, the more challenge. 15 seconds. Squeeze the legs. Happy thoughts. Shift the weights back. Excellent. Three, two, hold. Stretch your spine as long as you can for three breaths. <sighs> Wonderful. So that's a nice warm up. And now we can get on the floor and do some lunges. So yoga stretching, lower the knee down to the mat. If that hurts, you can always do this upright against your back of your couch for this whole sequence or a piece of, you know, a furniture of some sort. So bring the back leg back as far as you can, keeping the hips low, so you're getting a nice stretch through the hip. Into the camera again. Sorry, I don't have a fancier camera, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. And we're stretching, back knee back, pushing your hips forward. Maybe stretch through that hip flexor, if it feels good on your shoulder, bring your arm overhead. So you're stretching your whole rib cage as well. Big breath. You can always inchworm your front foot further forward so you get a little easier time on your knee and you'll also feel more hamstring stretch as well. And then reach your hand down for a nice neck stretch. Fingers flex back, head rolling forward and back, releasing the neck. Good. Very nice. And then extending the front leg for an extra hamstring stretch. Through here, flex your toes back. Deep breathing. Each exhale, trying to sink a little deeper. See how long you can do your exhalation. And then we have our pigeon pose, which you might want the pillow for, unless you're doing it behind your couch or something. That's fine. Shifting right back and forth. If you need a pillow, just put it under your hip and it'll help a little bit. And shifting your weight back and forth a little bit to find the most interesting angle to stretch. Flex your front toes and just shifting your weight forward. And if you guys want to do the extra credit, you can try grabbing your foot back there. Completely optional, especially if your hamstrings starts to cramp or something, you don't have to do that. Totally optional. Just leaning forward. Deep. Very nice. So we're gonna do a downward dog to transition to the other leg. So shifting away back, deep stretch for the hamstrings and your calves and spread your fingers, push into your fingertips. Deep breathing. Again, three deep breaths. This is where you want to feel your deep abs or deep lower abs. So just, if you do a full exhale here, you'll feel like your organs shift under the rib cage. And then you feel that deep, deep lower ab engagement. You can bend your knees a little bit here if it feels like to, your hamstrings are pulling your back too much to really get that flat lower back. Two more breaths. And then shifting legs for the lunge. Separate your feet enough so you feel a big deal stretch. Push the hips. You can also inchworm the back knee back in space. And we'll just push into it. Arm overhead if that feels good. To your shoulder. Keep your head breathing, reaching as far as you can so you get it even more stretched through the lats, your underarm muscles. Deep breathing, sinking deeper on the exhale. Stretch through the arm. And then the shifting right back, hamstring stretch. Flex your toes so it's even more intense. Sinking forward on the exhale. And 
and a chin down shimmy pigeon pose with the pillow if you like under your hip and then just shifting side to side. Excellent. If you're just joining us now, don't worry, you didn't miss the planks. We're just doing our stretching sequence. Everyone loves the plank series, right? And then grab your foot. If you're doing that, totally optional extra credit part. Three more deep breaths, sinking forward, also to intensify it. And let's do one more downward dog before our enjoyable plank series. Yay! Shifting back, head dangling, shoulders drawing down. Amazing, you guys. Planks. So we're trying to make the planks hard for yourself, even if you're at home. Okay, guys? Make it hard. We're going to hold for one minute, and then we're going to do a few other variations, four of them. Don't worry. We're going to do about three minutes total. It's going to be great. But with the plank, try shifting your hands forward farther than your shoulder joints. See where I'm not right under the shoulders? My arms are farther forward, which will actually help your wrists be less compressed, but it will also be more challenging for your core. And then we're going to reach your heels back and forth. Okay, guys? Let's time it. One minute. Ready? Set. Go! Squeeze the legs. Shift the weight back and forth. Tuck your butt under, long through the neck. Good. Make it hard. Squeeze your legs. You can squeeze your arms towards each other as well to help encourage the challenge. Tuck your butt under, long through the neck. Heels reaching back and forth. Squeeze the arms, squeeze the legs. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds. Tuck your butt. 15 seconds. Make it challenging. Squeeze it. 10 seconds. Keep it up there. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest for a moment. Excellent work, you guys. Hope that was hard. Now we're going to do the, what are we calling it? The bulldog or the frog? Let's keep calling it the frog. The frog is shifting your weight back on your knees, just like we do on our forearms. We're going to slide back and forth, keeping your knees low. We're just going to do 30 seconds of it, so make it hard. Keep your knees, your legs low towards the mat, and we'll be more challenging for the legs. Ready? Set, go. Back and forth. Now you can turn your knees out here or keep them pointing down. Whatever feels easier on your knees and your hip joint. Keep it going. Lunge. Hips low. Good. Reach it. 10 seconds as it turns out. Only so it's quick. Whew. Marching 15 seconds. Squeeze the legs. Squeeze your arms. 10 seconds, you can do it. Make it hard. Six, five, four, three, one more each, and rest. Almost there, guys. Almost there. One more variation. We're gonna do the hip dips. Yay! Hip dips, you can come down to your forearms. This is the swing your hips side to side, this one, right? Make it hard. Just 30 seconds, okay? Ready, set, go. Swing your butt. Side to side. Now, the faster you swing, the more you'll feel your obliques here. Make it as hard as you can. Swing side to side. Keep going. Make it hard. Very fun. 10 seconds. Only. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Five seconds, go, go, keep it going, and then rest. Ah, really good. Let's do a little mermaid type side stretch, because that was probably challenging around the lats. Reaching overhead. 
Stretching over. And then the other side. Swing your legs over the other direction. Reaching overhead. Can you guys hear the trumpet? My neighbor is a drag. So you can sit on your pillow again. If you need, you can also just sit on the floor. We're gonna shift your weight forward and to the side. One overhead, stretching your rib cage. So the rule is again, each exhale sinking deeper into the stretch. Flex your toes back. If you can, push against your leg, open the chest up to the ceiling. And then shifting forward, you can try to pull yourself forward, drag yourself forward with your hands. And the other side, side bend, pushing against your leg. I really like that, pushing against your leg to open the side of you, up towards the ceiling more if you can. Sinking, you're gonna do it twice, just like in class. When you're at the studio. Hopefully we'll get to do again. One more time, flex your toes, reach, stretch. Stretch, maybe you can even grab your toes and flex those back. And reaching forward, let's have a little moment in the middle. Rolling your pelvis forward, grabbing hold of whatever you can, pull yourself forward and to the side. One more time, stretch, push against your leg with the bottom arm. Breathing into the rib cage. Delicious. Okay, gang, if you guys happen to have a TheraBand, we're gonna play with those now. Totally optional, you guys, still totally optional. You don't have to have it. We're just gonna do a little bit of bridges. Strap all over your knees. If you have a band, if you don't, that's completely fine. You might even have a pillow to squeeze instead between your knees to engage more inner thigh. But this band helps a little bit glutes and the like. So totally optional. We're gonna lift your butt, walk your feet out a little bit more. So it's a little more glutes than hamstring and we're just gonna pulse the knees out to the side. Tuck your butt, shoulders pinching back, out to the side. Let's do 30 seconds of it, shall we? 30 seconds, go. Timer. Out to the side, stretching the band. Feel your glutes. You could try to lift your tippy toes, but try and keep your feet out. That's the hard part. Out to the side, lift your butt even more. Pulsing out and resting down. Now we're gonna to go to the side. So if you guys happen to have a pillow again, you can put that under your lats, under your head, like it's nap time. Band optional for the clams, okay? Or you could you just prop up your head like this, whatever you like. Now we're just gonna open and close. So if you don't have the band, just Create that resistance. Keeping your hips stacked helps. Five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to shift your whole shin up and down, like a doggy pain. At least that's what I think of it as. Up and down. Just doing 10, nine, eight. On hand on your hip, which seems to help stabilize. You could have it down on the mat. Good. Great, excellent. Then leg straight. So if you don't have the band, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna look forward, it's gonna be big. And then up and over and back. Tap behind you. Up and reaching long, tap in front. If, you, if you're using the band, just go a little bit forward and back, okay? Just forward and back, 30 seconds. Ready, steady, go. Yeah. So if you don't have the band, like I'm doing now, just do a little tap, tap. Stretch your leg long. Tap, tap, up and over reach. Tap, tap, emphasizing the leg reaching back and so you feel your glutes activate. Up and over 10 more seconds. Grab your thoughts, grab your body now. 
15 seconds. Good. Great. 10 seconds. You can do it. Ooh, this is harder than it seems. And then rest. Oh my. Let's do the crossover. Flat foot on the mat. Stretching your glutes. So you can push on your knee. Stick your butt out to get a nice stretch through hip. A little breather before we get to have to do it on the other side. You have to stick your butt out. Push. You could also lay on your back for the figure four. But we'll do that later. Just a brief transition. Whirl around. Let's do it again. So clam, if you had the band, climb up your knees again, and just lift and lower your knee like this. Mm -hmm. Since we can't have any music, at least we get some, um, I hope you guys are playing music for yourself. Something to get the energy pumping. I can't play music otherwise. I will be bumped off. It'll drop the stream. But I do have some trumpet music. Yay! We can have the doggy king lifting the whole shin up and down. These are related physical therapy exercises and they're very shaping as well. So that's a bonus. <sighs> up and down. 10 seconds. You can do it. We're roughly doing about 10 each, by the way. I'm just giving you a timer instead, so we might get a few more repetitions. Delightful. Excellent. Okay. So out of that, we're going to do tap, tap forward, tap, tap back. Go. Or if you have a TheraBand, you can do the extra credit version. Just gives you more resistance. <laughs> tap, tap back. Tap, tap forward. Tap, tap back. Up and over, tap, tap, forward, 10 seconds. <sighs> Great. One more go. Each. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tap, tap, back, feel the glutes, and straight out to the side. And a 30. Up and down. Very good. Try to relax the shoulders. You can always bring your head down. It feels too necky. Stretch the leg long out of the hip joint. Five more seconds. Then a few more repetitions in there. And then cross the ankle. Excellent work. Foot flat. Feel the stretch. Stick your butt out. Push on your knee for even more release. Good, 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 good job. So great. Hope you felt that one. Some good old Jane Fonda's classy. Let's do some more classic Pilates abdominal work. So if you need a pillow here under your head, it's allowed, but it is harder without it. Nice pillow. We're gonna do upper up curls. That's what the pillow's for. So if you can lift up off of it, it'll be more work. It's also strengthening your neck. So the trick is try not to pull your chin in too much, you know, creating the neck wrinkles. We're gonna have the Hollywood neck like Jason says. My favorite term. Nice and long. Lift your shoulder blades off the mat. That's that's what's going to contract the abdominals. You can keep your head nice and relaxed in your hand. Okay? Otherwise, hands holding onto your legs. Even more challenging. We're going to extend your legs and arms away back to center. So if you want to keep your hands on your head, there's a modification that's allowed. Ready? We're just going to do 10. Deep breathing, full exhales. Inhale away, exhale, contract. Inhale, stretch. Keep the abs drawing in. Pressing your mid back into the mat. Inhale, full exhales. Contract, five more. Stretch, contract. One more time. Yay. One legged. Rest your head if you need to at any point. Curling up if you can. And we're going to pull, pull the leg. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull. Just keep breathing. So maybe you can do 
fit two moves within the inhale and the exhale. So it's longer breath. And exhale. Two more breath cycles. Curling up. And exhale. Scissors. Pull the leg up. Curl up if you can. Lowering your head if you need to. So it's going to go again. Another tug, tug. Stretch. Tug, tug. Pull it in. Same breath as before. Inhale. Both legs. Exhale. Try to keep the shoulders down. Inhale. Both legs. Exhale. Both legs. Two more breaths. Inhale. Both legs. Exhale. Both legs. Curl it up. One more time. Exhaling. Great. Rest your head. Hands on your head for this one for everybody. Twisting. This is our last one, too, so make it hard. You're going to twist. Try and get your elbow out there and lift your chest up to the knee. And we're just going to switch. Same breath. Inhaling. Both. Exhale. Both. So it's a long breath. <laughs> Twisting. Obliques. Try and lift up. Chest to knee. Pull the knee in. Three more breaths. Resting down. Very nice. Hopefully you're feeling your abdominals. Now we just get to do a little hip swiveling, flopping your knees side to side. You might like it with your feet wide so you get a little different hip torque. Or you can stack your feet. Explore and see which one you feels more enjoyable. Which one hurts so good? Ah, a little breaky poop is on. Do some flipping over onto your front, some back strengthening. Good time for a sip of water if you like. We're gonna roll up, just like rolling like a ball. Always a good transition. We're gonna flip over and do some swan slash cobra. Yay! On to a bed for this. Turning around, onto your bellies. First, we're gonna do just classic cobra, right? So your hands are under your shoulders, shoulders down. Now, I really think it helps to drag yourself forward. You're trying to walk forward with your arms to traction your spine, drawing the shoulders down, getting a little bit more bend through the upper back, and then you come back down. We're just gonna inhale up, exhale down three times. Inhaling, drag yourself forward, inhale. Lift the chest up, long through the neck, and then exhale, drag yourself even more forward to roll down. Legs are long and reaching behind you. And rolling up, let your head come up first. You're sequencing through your neck vertebrae. Drag and exhale. One more for good measure. Drag yourself down. Inhaling up, exhale, rolling down. Wonderful. Now, for even more upper back strengthening, legs lifting as well. Shoulders back, lift your arms up, right? So you can hold this position and just breathe through it. Or if you can, on the exhale, reach your arms forward, which will again create the lower back stabilizing, strengthening muscle. Ready? Let's do five breaths. Lift the legs, so your hamstrings and glutes are working. Pull the abs in. Exhale, reach. Keep your chin tucked. Pinch your shoulder blades, lift your upper back a little further, and exhale. Stretch your limbs away from the core. Shoulders down your back, even as you reach your arms forward. One more time. Stretch, hold if you can. Or rest for a second. Have a rest because now we're going to do the swimming where you alternate opposite arm and opposite leg. Same thing, chin tuck, shoulders back. Let's just do three breaths of it, okay? Chin in, reach opposite arm and leg, stretching them away from your core and switch. Deep breathing. All the air out. One more time. And rest. And now you can child's pose. Push back, pull the abs in, sit back on your heels. 
Ah, sweet relief. And then I really enjoy shifting hips side to side, which will also give your glutes a little relief from those Jane Fonda moves. Let your head dangle, pushing back against your mat so you get more lower back stretch. What a delight. Let's do teasers. More classic Pilates, you guys. Always a good time. Also called boat pose, as it turns out. In yoga, so you're bouncing on your butt. As extended as you can with your legs. So you can bend it if it's if you're like your back is being bullied because you still want to keep your spine long, nice and long. And we're gonna reach your arms forward. Good. Now the higher you reach your arms up away from your core, the more challenge here as well. Pull the abs in, extend, stretch your legs long, or you can bend up it. Push up your butt bones, get taller, 20 seconds. <sighs> Yay! Extend your legs. <gasps> 15 seconds. Happy thoughts. Could be worse. Lift the chest. 10, 9, 8, 7. Stretch. 6. Arms up if you can. 5, 4, 3, 2. Rest for a moment. Ah, let's do rolling like a ball, which is just the very fun, playful move. Rolling back and forth. We're not done with the teachers. We're just going to do this a few times. Just a little spinal wake up. A little back massage, kind of. Whee! Stabilize three more times. Two. One. Whee! Okay, now you guys, another teaser. This time we're gonna lower and lift. So you're in the teaser. Try not to rock back like I just did. You're gonna lower with stability and then lift back up. So it's your eyes and your toes at the same level. We're gonna do 10 times. Ready? Or not. Lower. Exhale up. Down. Left. Push off your butt bones to lift the spine. Four. Five. Left. Six. Seven. Up from the abs. Eight. Nine. Up. 10. It's a lot of the hip flexors. It's a lot right here. That's normal. You're strengthening those. Let's do the spine twist. So crossing the ankle over the other knee. If you need to extend this leg in the front, that's fine too. And we're just gonna twist, pushing off your back hand to lift your chest and rotate. Just pull your leg. If you wanna try to wedge your elbow around the knee, you can. Just deep breathing, three breaths. Switch. So I like, or you can bend it in, the more of a pretzel. Nice and tall, twist the spine, or wedge in there. Push against your leg, nice and tall. Push off the back, hand, and breathe. Twist, twist, twist. Wedge in there if you can. Crack and snap all. Great. Bridges, you guys. Maybe if you've done this with me before, you've got towels with you, which I didn't mention at the beginning. So if you have socks nearby, you can put those on as well. Hamstrings and glutes on the lower back. We're replicating the pelvic presses on the reformers. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. You are awesome. Okay, so here I am. So I like to just put the towels under my feet here. And just do a little floor wiping, no wood floors, but if you have carpet, it should work as well. And you can lay on your back and do a very potent, very strengthening hamstrings, glutes, and lower back experience. Ah, pillow if you want. If you're touching, pinch your shoulder blades. You could also elbow the mat with your elbows. That tends to help a little bit. And we're just gonna slide your feet away, drag it back in. A lot of hamstrings and glutes, okay? Hamstring curls. 10 times, ready, set, go. 10, drag it in. Nine, wipe that floor. Eight, seven, six, do it. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Amazing. Finish your 10. If you have a difference, if you're on a different count than I am, my apologies. Next is one legged version. Lift your butt. So here's the option if you don't have the white bees, you're just going to push it up the floor, lift your hips. Let's do five of those, okay? Just push down on the, on the standing foot. Lift, propulsion up. Three, four, five. That's five. I should have done 10. And switch legs. So we're going to do another repetition, just mind you. And five, lift, push the floor away. And now the wipeies. So if you if you if it's too much to do the wipes with one leg, just do that one again. Okay. Lift, extending one leg, and we're gonna slide and drag in five times. Five, four, drag in. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, so challenging. Lift your tush, do the other side, extend the leg, and wipe or push. Five, four. Three, two, one. Oh my, those are the hardest. I really get a sweat from that. Hope you guys are feeling it. Now we get to stretch our hamstrings. So if you happen to have a yoga strap nearby, or you could use your towel, or just your hands. And if you lay down, yay! Oh, good. Grab your foot with your arm extending tool, or just your arm. It's fine. Pull the leg. Put your head. Four hamstrings. I love that exercise, you guys. It's much cha more challenging than the reformer pelvic presses. So I encourage you to try it because you're going to feel so strong. And now we just do the hamstring magical extending trick. So pull the leg with your arms. Pull them as close as you can to you as you can. And we're going to push your leg into your hands, activating the muscle and then release and pull closer. So you're really using your arms here. This is your arm work. Exhale, press, push, 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 and release and pull closer. Two more times. Try to get your leg as straight as possible. Push a leg into your arms and then release and pull magically closer. One more time. Push, 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 and pull close. Good. And if you can, curl up to get a little bit more lower back stretch and then we're going to cross over. You can bend your knee here if you want for easier time. Or you can keep your legs straight and wedge it against the wall or a piece of furniture to get even more stretch through your SI joint blue area. And I'm just reaching on that position breathing. Three deep breaths. Each exhale, try and pull the ribs down further. Maybe get a little back adjustment, very exciting. And exhale, bring the leg up and to the side, inner thigh. Switch legs. Let's do it again. So use your strap, but if you want, you can hold lower on the leg, whatever works for you. But try and get your legs straight as possible. And pull it with your arms. Use your biceps, make an arm work. Pull. And let's do it. Push your leg into your hands, activating muscle and release and pull closer. Pressing, shh, activating muscle and release. Pull with your arms even closer. Amazing. Two more times. Pressing and release. Pull. Oh my gosh. One more time. And curling up, feel that lower back stretch a little further. <sighs> Cross the leg over. <sighs> Reaching your arm in that position. Three deep breaths. <sighs> Twist. <sighs> Twist. And exhale, inner thigh stretch. Yay! Bring the leg out to the direction. Mm -hmm. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Amazing, you guys. Roll up rollovers. So this is our yummy time as well. So these are pretty popular, I think. Maybe not the rolling up part, so we're gonna, but we're going to try. You can bend your knees if you need to. You can even use your arm, arms. 
pull your legs to help roll up here. But if you can, keep your legs straight. It will be a little more challenging. Super slow and controlled. Arms overhead if that feels okay on your shoulder. And curling back up. Inhale about halfway. So your exhale is times right where it's most challenging through the lower back. Rounding. Stretch your hamstrings. Flex your feet. Pull your torso towards your legs. Rolling back. Again, you can do this with your knees bent. It gives your, your hamstrings will slacken a little bit. Stop pulling your lower back. If it feels like it's hurting your lower back, modify. And curl up, inhale. Exhale. Contracting the abs. Slow-mo. Round. Ah, the best part. Stretch over. Pull your torso towards your legs. Rain hang again. Rolling back again. Slower. Slower. Controlled. Yay. Stretch overhead. And curling up. Inhale. Exhale. Wowzers. Stretch over the legs. Pull your torso towards your legs. And again. Slow roll. Slow roll. Slow, 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 slow. Very good. Two more, you guys. Curling up, inhale. Exhale. Stretch. Dangle. Enjoy that part. One more time. And then we're going to do the roll your legs over, which is pretty popular. Plow pose. It feels good on your back. Last one. Control from the gut. Stretching over. And last time, rolling back. Then you get to lift your legs up. Overhead, just hang back in the plow pose. You can support your back with your hands. Put your leg down. You can bend your knees here. It should just feel like a yumminess stretch. Straight legs, you'll probably feel more of a stretch to your back, your left side joint, your hamstrings, whatever feels better. And you might enjoy extending one leg up towards the ceiling. I think that was delicious. You get a little more stretch on the side. Switching. Good. You can do the helicopter where you roll your legs around, really fun. And then you just go halfway around the circle and then switch. Just a little hip joint, hip socket, release. Hmm? Linger wherever you feel like there's a stretch needed. Then we're gonna do four roll downs. So flex your feet, press your hands into the mat, slowly with control, roll down. Good. Now lower your legs down as far as you can keep your torso stabilized. And lift it back up. Inhaling, exhale. Controlled. Feet flexed. And roll back down. Stretch your legs long, reaching your heels to the wall as you slowly roll down. Lowering the legs down. You can press your head into the mat here to help stabilize. Keep sucking the gut in. Use your exhale for momentum. Flex your feet. Uncontrolled down. Roll it. Take it hard. Is it hard? Hopefully it is. And one more time. Of course, you can always do more repetitions if you want to. Because <laughs> I can't see you. You can always linger in a stretch. And I encourage that because it's... You know, you're going to know what feels necessary for your body today. Then you can do the recess moment again. Dropping one leg. Alternating. You can do the whirl around. Helicopter pretending. Isn't that fun? And we're going to guys. Enjoy. Relax. Your toes. Maybe you can grab your toes and pull back even. Even more excruciating. Then grab your chest balls or your lacrosse balls if you want to join us for this part. We're going to do the 
replicating the massage we do in the reformer classes with the leg against the bar. We don't have one of those, so we're going to wedge that ball between your calf and your hamstring, sit back on it, and then rolling side to side. So it kind of gets both your hamstrings and your calves at the same time towards your feet, little by little. Mm -hmm. And walking down the leg. Ah, side to side wiggle. Woo. Very good. And linger wherever you find a good spot, of course. Just gonna do a few delicious things here with the ball buddies. Woo! That's a good spot. And we're going to do our shoulders. Delicious. Keep rooting. Oh my. Really interesting. One side might be tighter. So weird. Good. Releasing. And you can go all the way down to your Achilles with the ball buddies, naturally. Woo. Just linger wherever you feel like you need it. Mm -hmm. And then a great thing to do for the knee, right in front of the kneecap, not on the kneecap, but you're just gonna kneel at the tendon, the patella tendon, right under your kneecap. Little fleshy part there, just push into it. It'll feel good. Ah, oh, typically, it'll hurt so good. Ooh, that's interesting. Just a few breaths there, on one side and then the other, and probably one side is going to be more. Huh? Let's lay down on the ball buddies. So if you guys have the ball buddies in a sock here. That keeps them from rolling around. Or you could get a peanut from Amazon, which is just two balls fused. Either way, we're going to put the balls around the trapezius muscles, upper back muscles, and then you can overlap your elbows to expose between your shoulder blades and just lift your hips up for more pressure. And you can walk back and forth. Woo, and if you find a good spot, of course, linger there. Ooh, ooh, this is probably pretty tight. I call these the stress muscles because that's where the stress tends to accrue and it's stressful times. Ooh. So just breathe into the points. Try and let the tension melt. Good. And then you can walk the balls down, pushing up your feet to roll the balls. If they're separated like mine, you'll just have to keep maneuvering them, lifting your hips for more pressure. Goodness. And just going all the way down the back. Ooh, you might get a few adjustments. Just got a little back adjustment, very exciting. And then the lower back, a very good area on the quadratus lumborum right above your hip bone at the waistline. And you pull your abs in to put more pressure onto the balls. You can lean on one side and you'll know if it's the side that you need to need it more on because it'll hurt. It'll hurt so good more on that one side. And you can also pull the knees in to put more pressure on the balls, even a lot more pressure. A little self massage, you can roll or just explore as you like, of course. Mm -hmm. Ball buddies at the glutes right around an either cheek and you can just wall side to side to release. 
Ooh, when you can find a good spot, of course, hold it as per usual. Spots, then very exciting and quite therapeutic. The tensocratial lata right at the side of the hip. See where I put that ball right under the hip bone and that fleshy part of the hip. Just lean into it and find those sore spots and linger. You can roll even more forward so it gets more of the front of the hip right under your hip bone as well, where your hip flexors attach. But you'll know. You'll know if it's the spot to linger. Oh, yeah. Good. And then the other side. And of course, you're going to have one side that's more intense. It's like, that goes. Whoa. So just linger a little more on that one side. Breathing. Wow, it's a good, it's it's a very good. Then you guys, let's against the wall, lean the ball right at the shoulder muscle. This is find a wall, lean the ball right between your shoulder blades and your spine, similar to where we just had, right? You can just roll side to side. You can come up to standing if you want, of course. Just find your spots there. And then we're gonna roll along the right above the shoulder blade your teres minor roll around there a little bit just get in there you'll know it'll be sore if it's needed and then you can roll to the deltoid so you're going to be leaning at the shoulder pad type muscle dig in there Oof. Whoa, it's, it'll be a little clunky and you'll find some very exciting spots, I'm sure. And just explore and linger wherever needed. A great spot if you're doing a lot of typing on the computer is right at the top of your forearm, right? The muscle there. It'll feel really good. Lean into the wall there. So you just push your hip into the arm, into the ball, into the wall. Just sandwich it in there. And then you can rotate your thumb to rotate your radius and ulna. Those are those forearm muscles or bones. That's a good one. Especially if your elbow's feeling funny or your wrist from typing, that helps to relieve that muscle. Let's do the other side. Lean against the wall, right at the trapezius muscle, the tension muscle that we did laying down a little bit. Very crunchy. Ooh, and just find it when you find a good spot, hold it and breathe. And just sinking, releasing the tensions. And then Rolling along the Terry's Minor. Just around the shoulder blade region. Mm -hmm. You'll know, you'll know. Just wherever it feels sore, linger and breathe. The deltoid, your shoulder pad muscle, a little there. Wow. Always sore. I just work so hard. Woo. So you can continue to do any of those. Of course, you can spend all day, maybe, if you have the time. Ball buddies. That's a good way to get some massage, you guys, in these times where it's hard to get one. All right.
Thank you for joining me, you guys. Tomorrow will be Jason. I believe it's Tuesday <laughs> at 2 o'clock. And, of course, if you, thank you if you're coming from class, pass or gym class. Thank you so much. And if you're coming some, from some other means and you guys want to tip us, you can. Our Venmos are down in the description. At Lita-Lum. And Jason is at JJ Pickles. So cute. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to stay healthy.